Who is it? Yay! <laughs> wow, my favorite Cubeza. Wow, we're gonna make some horse out of that. Hi, how are you guys doing? Thanks for watching today. Let me know if you're vegan, if you were ever vegan. We usually eat vegan during the week and then on Shabbat we eat meat. I'm Leia by the way. I don't know if we got that in the wind, but <laughs> anyway, Judaism sees eating as a spiritual experience. So for example, if you eat an apple and you do acts of kindness with it, the apple becomes a partner in what you do and making the world a better place and you're elevating this apple. On the other hand, if you use your energy for something not good and not doing good after you eat this apple or doing things for selfish reasons and not for the big picture, then what right do you have to eat this apple? I mean, you're supposed to do good with the energy that God gives us, you know? This is why in Judaism, we don't see eating animals as necessarily being cruel. If you eat anything, an apple or hamburger, you don't, after that, do good with the energy then that scene is not good so we see the world as being a spiritual place not just physical but if you only see the world as a physical place yes you'll see eating animals as cruel but that's not how Judaism sees it we like to elevate everything an apple a cucumber a hamburger we elevate everything we eat to serve God and to do good for others and ourselves and our families <laughs> בשיר 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 וכל תודה בשיר 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 וכל תודה בשיר וכל תודה נברך לאלוקינו על ארץ חן דתו ושם חילה אבותינו מתון ועשד העיר ביה לנפשנו חסדו גבר עלינו ואמת אדוני צאו מי שלא שלא אכלנו צאו מי שלא מי שלא אכלנו Do 
Did you know Israel is called the most vegan-friendly country in the whole world? We live off the Mediterranean, so we have the Mediterranean diet, which also includes a lot of fruit and vegetables. It's also a mitzvah, a commandment from God that we plant fruit trees when we get to the land of Israel. So people here are really used to living off their own food, having it garden in their backyard. In the kibbutz, the kibbutzim here have tons of agriculture, of vegetables and fruits and orchards going on, and they sell it to all of Israel, and 98% of all fruit and vegetables come from the land of Israel that we eat. So a lot of what people eat is plant-based anyway. And over 6% of Israelis say that they're vegan. Israel has more vegans per capita than any other nation. The Israeli army is the world's most vegan army. Approximately one out of 18 soldiers are vegan. <laughs> And also a really cool thing, fast food in other countries are like, you know, a lot of um, meat and, and cheese products and other products and like a lot of processed foods. And in Israel, the number one quote fast food is falafel. It's garbanzo beans, chickpeas. And it's in a pita with tons of fresh vegetables and hummus. It's really healthy. So on the go, you can get a cheap, really healthy food in Israel and it's vegan. So really, when I go to any restaurant in Israel, you can always find something that's totally plant-based and healthy and with fresh fruit and vegetables. So it's great. I love the urn. I love the doggy paw prints in the sand. I love the yellow flowers blooming in my head. I love the sky. I love the white clouds forming a surprise. I love the bright sun streaming in my eyes. Wow, we're gonna make some horse out of that. And when I close my eyes, I could dream a world so beautiful. But when I lose my mind, I could find something more beautiful than I could ever remember. I love the sea, the horizon as far as I can see. Each wave brings a message for me. I close my eyes I could dream a world so beautiful It seems That when I lose my mind I could find something more beautiful Than I could ever remember Okay, hello, this is gonna be my husband Elam. He's gonna to talk to you about veganism, animals, um, the Jewish outlook on this. Uh, so it's interesting that this would be the topic. Uh, I was actually vegan for 11 years, uh, 12 if you count in one year of uh, a vegetarianism before. And uh, when I became religious at the age of 26, I uh, was conflicted with this whole issue around veganism because in Judaism there's a very strong push towards eating meat with this whole context of, of raising sparks from the animals, something like that, you can read about it. But you know, interesting enough, Rabbi Avram Yitzhak Cohen Kook, who I was very uh, attracted to his writings, has a book called Vegetarianism and, uh, and World Peace. And one of the things that he talks about, he says that uh, that veganism is not for everybody and there is actually a, a better way for most people right now nowadays to get to get closer to their mercy towards animals which is actually to do with ritual slaughtering because he says that the slaughterer has no choice but to be really close to the animal and to be very compassionate for it and the Jewish uh, ritual slaughtering actually is very moral in that that the animal loses consciousness in the way that it's done before it feels any pain uh, unlike some other methods that are used sometimes so so that's like that's like really struck me as something that was like a way of being actually closer to animals than just not to eat them but to be involved in, in the spiritual act of, of, of ending their lives on the one hand but also raising raising that to a better um, maybe maybe somehow sweeter um, experience Now, another
another another interesting thing that Rabbi Cook ta talks about is that for most people nowadays, uh, becoming vegetarian, they would have to work on their midot, on their on their character traits a lot before it would make sense. Because for somehow we've been programmed to take out our um, our emotions, our anger, our uh, our bad sides on, on animals and even though that is not ideal it would be best that we would be bad to any creature but because we're not there yet it's better off in some way that we are uh, cruel to a certain extent to animals than we are cruel to other human beings but we have to first and foremost be compassionate and empathetic towards people and then if we can, if we're able to add on to that also the compassion towards animals fantastic and uh, I just want to give everybody uh, a, a blessing that we shall all uh, like manage to become better people towards other human beings and hopefully as mankind slowly towards better towards every uh, being on the planet. If you guys like to learn about Judaism, about life, and dig deeper into every day of what we do, happy if you'd subscribe. I'd love to see you back here. And if you're new, let me know your name and where you're from. You're back here again. Let me know how you're doing. May God bless us that everything we eat we can use for a higher purpose and to do good for ourselves, for other people, for God, and we can make this world a better place through the energy we get from food, from God, and everything good around the world. You guys are awesome. I hope to see you again soon, and you can watch these videos between now and the next upload. Thanks for taking the time to hang out with me, and hope to see you guys soon.